awesome. Too bad the guy's in England. <laughs> That's a joke about for my British friends. Uh, yeah, it tends to be very overcast there, but the sun yes. does come out yeah. in England as well. So, so here we have basically this is a randomized controlled intervention trial which showed that red light's doing this, and there's a whole host of other uh, other trials that show the same thing. So when I started to see this in my patients, and and what caused me to even do this, you might ask, what's a pulmonary critical care doc talking about mitochondria in the eye? What really spurred me on to look at this was when I was in the middle of something called the COVID pandemic, and I was seeing patients in my ICU that were that were dying. And what were they dying of? COVID, but what were they in there for? They had things like diabetes, hypertension, dementia, um, all of these things which have at the root of them mitochondrial dysfunction. So what we have is is an epidemic, I believe, of mitochondrial dysfunction. And how are we going to repair that? I think sunlight is one of the ways to do it. So I started looking around at the evidence. Um, there was a study that was done, Oxford and the University of Leiden in the Netherlands, where they looked at about 10,000 subjects. They just drew their blood and they said, let's just check triglycerides and insulin sensitivity. And then what they did was they looked over the previous 10 days at the weather report. And they were able to show that by the hour, the more sunlight that there was in the previous seven days, that actually predicted an improvement in insulin sensitivity and a reduction in triglycerides. 